And we're learning more about the 17 people killed in the Southern California mudslides. The victims who died during the storm and mud flows early Tuesday range in age from 3 to 89. Four of them were children. Authorities say the death toll could rise. 43 people are considered missing. Carter Evans met a man who was caught in the mudslide and lost his partner of 17 years. Mm. Carter is in heavily damaged Montecito. Good morning. Good morning. You know, when you look at all this destruction, it's hard to imagine that anyone could have survived being swept away in a debris flow like this. In fact, a body was found right over there the other day. And now people are questioning what happened, how long did it take, and we're getting firsthand accounts from survivors who lost loved ones. This is all I have. Everything is gone. All Lalo yeah, Barajas has like left Peter. to remember his life partner, Peter Flore, are these mementos he found about a half mile from their home. He says they lived in a voluntary evacuation zone, so they decided to ride out Tuesday's storm. The floor felt like it had no support at all. It just was rolling underneath me. The walls just burst open. The mud came in and just shot us both out of the house. They were soon pulled in different directions. The last thing Peter yelled out to me was, Lalo, grab onto some wood and don't let go. And that was the last I heard of him. Officials say they tried to give people living in the area ample warning starting the weekend before the storm via emails, text messages and phone calls. When the storm finally hit, the National Weather Service put out a WIA alert, which is similar to an amber alert, uh, saying that uh, flash flooding was imminent. The alert went to the Thomas Fire area at 2.46 a.m., but Santa Barbara officials were concerned it didn't reach certain Verizon customers. They then issued a countywide alert at 3.51 when the debris flow was already starting. Officials answered criticism Thursday that those alerts came too late. We knew we couldn't put a WIA out when we were doing the evacuation orders and warnings because it would have gone out to the entire county, would have caused great confusion. I don't think they could have ever saw this coming, but I think that if they had said everybody should leave, we wouldn't have seen as many people in this situation right now. Well, the Office of Emergency Management says it's looking into ways to approve, improve the alert system. The sheriff's office says it issued voluntary and mandatory evacuation orders. It was just working off the best information they had, but the rain fell much harder and much faster than expected. John? It's heartbreaking, Carter. Thanks.